Welcome to the Manny Perez Show, the show that covers, works on, and solves our community's issues. Yes, we can with the Manny Perez Show. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Manny Perez Show. And yes, I'm Manuel Perez Manny, your coach hispano, life coach, success coach, your democratic leader, the person that's always been around this millennia in my community, helping us solve problems. And with me is our journalist, Gabriela Ascanio, who's going to be talking to us a little bit later. And our production engineer is Julio Camacho. And today we're dealing with diversity. Diversity, such a wonderful word. And one that politicians use all the time. But what does it really mean? Well, we're going to get into that in a few minutes. But first, our journalist, Gabriela Scani, is going to tell us about what's going on. Gabriela. Okay, so um, we're going to start with the news. And we're going to start with good news because every week we have, we talked about the um, violence in the street and not today today we're going to talk about COVID uh, 19 and that we have a new vaccine johnson and johnson has a new vaccine that already has been approved so that means that uh, every day more people are getting their shot so that means that Lesson we know we're gonna we're going back to normal. We're going back to not worrying that much about this disease that is uh I don't know how to say it, but I crippling us. It's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah. I don't think there's another word. It's horrible. It's a horrible disease. Not able not not being able to to visit all your relatives and not hug everybody in Christmas and um not not being able to talk to each other that closely not not that everybody likes that but uh the mask is not always comfortable we do have to use it and it's the small it's a small sacrifice for saying something yep. saying a word that we have to to make but i think we all want to get back to where, where we were before not using a mask, we'll still have to use hand sanitizer. We'll still have to wash our hands because that's And we still sense. do have to wear masks. No, I mean, Even with still, the no, but at some point we, we might not want to use it every day or, or if you want to do it, you're free to do it. But um, we want to go back to normal. And this, yes. and having one, one more vaccine, uh, I think that that looks like we're getting there. Yes. <clears throat> and um, so we have new side vaccines, vaccine sites. We're getting more groups of people getting their vaccines. So that means that happy news. And also we're getting. Uh, 35 percent capacity in all restaurants and um, we can uh, have indoor dining until 11 p.m. That means that those businesses might get back on their feet because it's been, it's been awful this last year, especially for them because um, not mm -hmm. being able to get their customers inside, not everybody orders delivery not everybody has the, their time to go and pick their food up so that all that's all good news we might have uh broadway back we have we might have our ballet we we are going to get our new our uh, movie theaters so step by step we're getting there we're getting the things that we used to and there's only happy news 
today. Great. It's wonderful. And, and yes, if you have the chance to get any of the vaccines, don't pay attention to the people that say, oh, no, I want the best one. I want this one. No, get the one you can get. Get some protection because every vaccine is protecting us. And what Dr. Fauci has said, even though we want to get to the future where we don't have to wear a mask, the idea is that for the coming months, even though if we have a vaccine, wearing your mask, in fact, wearing two masks is the best thing because you want to be totally safe. Now, once we reach that point where nobody's getting sick or very few people are getting sick, thanks to all the vaccines, then we can say, oh, Dr. Fauci, can I stop wearing this? And Dr. Fauci, the CDC, other experts, they'll tell us. But don't risk your health because diversity also includes people who are sick and people who are not sick people who are dangerous to their neighbors and people who are not dangerous. I mean, I'm sorry. We have to recognize that we are still in the pandemic and there is good news. I'm very happy that restaurants are opening up. There is certain risk when you're with indoor dining because ventilation is lower, but we're handling it because we're getting more people with vaccines and we're learning how to use the masks even better. They're opening up schools in New York City. That's another bit of good news. And we have to be alert. Make sure that our, our children, our teachers, everyone in the school is safe and healthy. Because, hey, each one of us is different. So what is this about diversity? Well, Basically, as you can see right now on the screen, I'm different from Gabriela. She's different from me. She has long hair, dark hair. I've got short hair, and my hair is basically, hey, white or gray, sometimes salt and pepper. You can call it whatever you want but our hair color is different and some people might judge us because of our hair color our skin color is different not that much but some people are judged based on their skin color they might be judged also on other characteristics that come from their family from their nationality they might be judged based on language on their accent each one of us is different we're unique but within a family we tend to be similar within a specific identity community we tend to be alike yeah i remember when i was a musician singing and and i shared jokes and things with my friends that other people simply didn't understand why because they weren't musicians. There are communities of soccer players or football players, baseball players. Each one of them has things that they like, things that they don't like. And the important part about it is that there's no problem with being different. In the second part of this program, we're actually going to be talking a little bit about how to turn these differences, this diversity, into a benefit, an opportunity for each one of us. Because that's the strength of our community here in Jackson Heights, Elmhurst, East Elmhurst, Corona, Woodside. We've got people that are different. And immigrants learn how to work with differences because when an immigrant arrives in this city, honestly, you don't know what's going on. People are think differently. They do things differently. It's so easy to all of a sudden run out of money. But it's also easier to find a job, to find opportunity. Some people don't do so well. I know that. And uh, that's part of what we're going to be talking about, too. 
Gabriela, how much time do I have left? Um, three minutes. Okay, great. In three minutes then, <laughs> we're talking diversity. And I mentioned different types of diversity. Country of origin. That's one politicians tend to focus on a lot. As many of you know, I am Hispanic. And yes, I did come here as a child. And uh, I've faced many of the things you've read in the newspaper and stuff. But it was different people. And some people didn't want to be with me because I was Hispanic. And I didn't mind because I told them, your loss. And pretty soon they were coming over to talk to me. Because I don't like bullies. That's simple. I don't like them. And uh, so I dealt with difference, with diversity, in a, in a very special way. Because I understood that you, because you have differences with me, can give me a lot of benefits, a lot of opportunities. All I have to do is respect you, respect that you're different from me in something, and then work with it. So we'll be right back, everyone, with the Manny Perez Show, our journalist, Gabriel Ascanio, our producer, Julio Camacho, and this public servant. <laughs> and I'm a servant because I want to serve not because I hold one of these representative positions yet. And I'll be right with you, Manny Manuel Perez and the Manny Perez Show. We'll be right back. Thank you. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Manny Perez Show. Yes, I'm Manuel Perez. Manny, your life coach, success coach, democratic leader, and the person who's always working to find solutions for our community. With me is our journalist, Gabriel Ascanio, our production engineer, Julio Camacho, and we're talking about diversity. First part of the show, we defined diversity. We also spoke about what's going on in our community with the COVID-19 issues and how things are getting better. And yes, there are some people who like always criticizing, always finding what's wrong with something. They're the kind of people that will go into a feast and criticize that the raisins aren't wrinkled enough or something like that. So guys, there are people, my students would call them haters. My children probably would also, and you might. There are haters, but there are also people who are positive. There are people who really like making friends and sharing. And I think most of us are like that in this community because in this community, there's always been people who help me. And this is something since I was a child. So keep on doing that. Now, we're talking diversity. So right now I want to mention one situation that many of you have not had that experience. So uh, we have to go into it. A lot of people in the U.S. live on farms. Yes, that's one of the basic differences we have right now in the whole U.S. population. We are city people. We live in New York City. And there are people who live in what they call rural areas, basically farms. And uh, it's not the same because in a farm, there's not that much diversity. Sorry. So, Gabriela, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with living on a farm? Yeah, um, 
my mother's family owns a, a farm and every vacation that I have, every long weekend, I spend it over there. And I really loved it. I love the, the creeks and the animals and being free running on uh, through the mountains. And um, it was a, a really happy moment for me. Um, but then I grew up and I didn't have uh, my phone. I didn't have any TV because we didn't have any signal. And um, since we lived in a mountain and um, surrounded by a lot of trees, when it rained, maybe a tree fell and damaged the power, the power lines. And we didn't have any electricity. So that means no TV at all. And um, it's a nice weather, so it didn't matter if you had electricity or not. And people are over there are used to. But then I was an, ad an adolescent, and um, I got bored really easily. And I didn't spend a month as I used to. I wanted to leave early. I called my mom and I said, I want you to pick me up because I don't want to be here as much as I used to before. Because I got bored. Um, but it was really nice because you play with animals and um, as you grow up, as you grow old and your mind change your, the things you like. And um, yeah, it was nice, but it was different. And it's so weird because you, you have your phone like it's another limb. And uh, it's the first thing you see when you wake up and it's the last thing you see when you go to bed. And um, and it's funny, but uh, right now, the, the last time I went over there and I really enjoyed not having to use my phone. I really enjoyed that when I got there, I turned off my phone because I didn't have any signal still because it's really deep in the in the mountains. Yeah. And right now I do enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it when I was 20, 21 because I wanted to hang out with my friends. I wanted to go to the movie theater that there's no movie theater over there. It, it's a simple life. And um, now that in my, in my 30s, uh, early 30s, <laughs> I do enjoy that kind of, of stuff. I do enjoy uh, a quiet time. I do enjoy not having to, to talk to anybody on the phone, leaving my problems behind. Oh, if there's something really, really urgent, I will find out. If it's not, it's going to wait until I get back to the city. And um, when I was in my 20s, yeah, I got used to the the fast living and the 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 noise we were party are, when we when we're young yeah and now it's different and since we're talking about diversity and we change as we grow we grow old we change uh, our way to live our way to to see the things and yeah it's always different I do enjoy it now I always yeah. enjoy it but it it changed through time we change as we grow but for all the young people that are watching hey wanting to party wanting to be with your friends feeling desperate because you're locked in that is perfectly normal even people that have lived all their lives on farms when they're young when they're adolescents hey they want to party they want to do something that's different we're lucky we've got cell phones so we're not far away from anyone when we have service as gabriela pointed out but then when we grow older there are moments in our life when we want some quiet we want to be cut off from the world and yeah some people have the money to say okay i'm going to antarctica for a vacation and they actually go they see the penguins they're far away from everyone some people take other cruises because on a cruise ship, you are disconnected from the cell phone for a few days. There are different alternatives. But here in our community with so much diversity, we can choose. We can 
unless you're like it was in my house when I was a kid with my siblings there. I mean, I had very little private time. Even when I was in the restroom, there was always somebody hurrying me. Hurry up, hurry up. Well, that's the story of uh, living in a big family with one bathroom. It's something that happens in New York. If you want quiet time, yes, finding it is possible. We do have parks. We do have different places we can go. It's your choice. And it's your choice how you use diversity. You can sit bored because you've put everything different away from you. And you can complain that there's no opportunity, that you can't do anything. Or you can say, okay, let me figure this one out. Hey, Mary and Joey are musicians. I'm also a musician. Let's figure out how to use Zoom to do music. By the way, people are doing it. They're making recordings. They're doing all sorts of things utilizing the internet. You can do it. It's different, yes. And why do I know about this? Because I want to learn. I, I really love meeting people and seeing how they're different and learning from them. So, guys, you can do it too. So your neighbor is doing something a little bit different? You can ask. Hey, I noticed you do this, and I don't understand it. Be respectful. Okay, don't be offensive. Your neighbor might surprise you because your neighbor might know how to do something different from what you do. And opportunity can be in different ways. I think everybody knows now, New York City is offering new permits for street vendors. I don't know if they have any, but any left because this was a couple of weeks ago. But a lot of people took opportunity that they could get a street vendor permit. And they probably talked to someone else and said, listen, this is what I want to sell on the street. That most people are thinking food. Okay, food has its good things and its bad things. Because food needs sanitary permits, health permits. But then <laughs> I have a friend who actually set up an internet business of catnip filled toys. Cats love it. And hey, it was an income over the internet. She'd make the toys herself. Everything was natural. It's opportunity. Oh, you're not a cat person. You want to be a dog person. Okay, you can do that. Oh, you want to be a bird person. That's fine. Find something that people want and need. And it's going to be different for each one of us. What do I offer? I offer to help people be successful. I even do it for free, like now. <laughs> and yes, is my personality different? For example, Gabriela, she's, she's quieter than I am. I think everybody noticed already. I'm noisy and I talk a lot. Okay, that's the way I am. If you want me to be quiet, all you have to say is, Manny, listen, and I'll listen. So with diversity, please look around. Look at your neighbors. See what opportunity there might be. And remember, there are haters. There are people who are going to want to hate someone because they're a little bit different. But you, me, we're different. We're not haters. We're helpers. I know you were thinking I was going to use the L word, but no, we help each other. Why? Because we care. Because we understand that if you're fine, that means I can be fine. If you're having trouble, I'm going to have trouble. So take advantage of the diversity. Take advantage of the friendships you create. And if you're young, yes, you have opportunities to interact with people, but stay safe, please. You will be getting your vaccine soon because now we have a third vaccine. 
And don't forget, wear your mask. Stay safe. And I think I ran out of time, Gabriela? Yes. Oh, <laughs> isn't she nice? She doesn't scold me. She doesn't cut me off. She just says, yes. Well, thank you everyone for sharing with us. I hope you like this program. Please do contact us. We are here to help you. And once again, next Monday, 7 p.m., we're here with you with another program of The Manny Perez Show with me, Manuel Perez Manny, your community leader here in Northwest Queens, with our journalist, Gabriela Ascanio, and with Julio in America TV Productions. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining us on The Manny Perez Show, the show that covers, works on, and solves our community's issues. Yes, we can. The Manny Perez Show. 